guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're new here, my name's Alora. I make motherhood and lifestyle content. I am a stay-at-home mom to two kids. I have a two-year-old son and a four-month-old daughter. If you'd like to stick around, don't forget to subscribe down below. Today's video is a cleaning video, a video to motivate you, to motivate me, like, we're all gonna get motivated here. Before I started cleaning my kitchen, I wanted to descale my coffee maker. It has definitely been a hot minute since I've done this and I felt like it was definitely time. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming. My kitchen cabinets definitely needed a good wipe down, especially the top of the cabinets. I can't tell you the last time I went up there to wipe them. There was a decent layer of grime up there and it took forever to scrub it off. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow me golden 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 things gold hair gold ring My goal for this video is to be more of a motivating video, but not just any sort of motivation, but biblical motivation and also just some practical encouragement sprinkled in. And something I definitely want to say is in this world of social media and in this world of overconsumption, you do not need all the fancy gadgets, all the fancy cleaning supplies. You don't need any of that to maintain a clean home. All you need is two arms, elbow grease, and a little bit of worship music wouldn't hurt. A few videos back, I had shared 10 practical tips for maintaining a clean home. I will link that video in the cards above. I keep true to those tips. I like to work from top to bottom, and there was so much dust from the top of the cabinets that landed onto the countertops that if I would have cleaned the countertops first, it would have been such a waste of time. I'm now moving on to the appliances and you guys I just use Windex. Is that the right way to clean them? Probably not. So here's a prime example that you don't need specialized cleaning products for every single thing in your house to clean your home. You can keep it simple and you can keep it basic.
Moving on to the dining room, as I was cleaning, I realized that it's time for the placemats to go. It's not practical anymore. And so I decided to just ditch the placemats. And honestly, it's been a few days since doing that. And the table is so much easier to clean, not having to constantly take them off. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted this video to have some biblical motivation. And so I'm going to be sharing some verses with you about what the Bible says about cleanliness, about stewarding the things that God gave you. As a Christian, we use the Bible as a guide to live our lives. And that should be in every aspect of our lives. And that includes your home and how you care and manage for your home. If God has blessed you with a home, you should take care of it. We should be good stewards of the things that God gave us. And stewardship means the careful and responsible management of something entrusted to us. 
us. And our homes are a great example of that. Whether you rent a home or you own a home, God blessed you with a home and we should therefore take care of it. And one of the ways that we can take care of our home is simply by keeping it clean. And it's not about having it look aesthetically pleasing or a house that looks like no one lives there. Your home is a blessing and you are a steward of that blessing, just like anything else that God would give you. Glorifying God in your home is not just about how it looks physically, but also your attitude behind it. And I definitely struggle with this. For example, I really struggle with laundry and laundry feels like a chore. It's something I don't like doing. I dread it. I stall as long as I can. But I'm something I'm feeling convicted about is that it's such a blessing to be able to do laundry. And at the end of the day, I'm so blessed to be able to have people that I get to do laundry for. And I try to remind myself that when I'm starting to feel the laziness of not wanting to do it. And in Proverbs 31, 27, it says, she looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. And the definition of idleness is laziness. So here in Proverbs, it's telling us to look after our homes, to not be lazy with our homes. I know for me that this verse is very convicting and it's something that I'm definitely praying about and working on to just not fall into laziness. And while the Bible doesn't give us clear instructions on how to clean our home, in 1 Corinthians 14.33, it says, For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace. And so at the end of the day, just have order and peace in your home. There's no right or wrong way to clean your house. The Bible instructs us to simply keep peace peace and order. And so keeping your home clean is going to look different for every family and the method you do so will look different for every person. And I just hope that this video encouraged you today, motivated you to get your house clean, to glorify God through your house, and to take care of the house that God gave you. And if you made it this far, be sure to drop your favorite Bible verse in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye friends.